Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Herndon here and I wanted to talk to you about addition. We talked about addition last week with our ocean animals, but our addition for last week was only problems that equaled five. This week we're going to make larger problems that can equal up to 10. So I'd like to try a few problems with you now. If I have the number three, and then I add, I'm gonna use my addition symbol. This is a plus sign. Six, how many does that equal? I'm gonna use some rainbows today to help us out. So I have three rainbows here, plus six rainbows. One, two, three, four, five, six. So three plus six. I'm gonna count all my rainbows and see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I add three plus six, it equals nine. Very good, boys and girls. Let's try another one. Let's try seven plus one equals. So I have seven rainbows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to add one more rainbow. So I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight rainbows. How do you draw an eight? Or how do you write an eight? It can be a little tricky. We're gonna start with an S, then we come back around and up to make our eight. So we have eight rainbows total. Let's try one more together, and then you can try some addition problems at home. Let's do four plus zero. Boys and girls, how many is zero? Zero is nothing at all. So we are gonna start with our four rainbows. One, two, three, four. And if we are adding zero, nothing, then we will still have one, two, three, four rainbows. So four plus zero equals four. You have some rainbow sheets to do at home I would love to see how you add your rainbows. Bye boys and girls.